So a lot of people have asked me, well, what's the path to the MLE role, MLE role, after the data analyst role? Well, it's a long one. I mean, what do you, what do you think you have to do? You've got to learn all the shit associated with being a machine learning engineer. Number one, stats. You're going to have to learn statistics. All data cleansing is all we do. Well, not right now. I'm in a data engineering role. When I was in an MLE role, all we did was data cleansing. It was damn near 99% of my job. And it is all applied statistics. So you've got to know statistics before you can move forward. I'm giving you this for free. The previous video. You learn everything in the stats class and you'll know 90% of everything you'll need to know about statistics for machine learning. Promise. What else? What's number two? Number two is obviously data cleansing. It's cleaning. We'll call it data cleaning because I can't spell cleansing right now. Too high. All right. So. Data cleansing, cleaning, whatever, right? It is, it's, it's going to be most of your job, right? I mean, it doesn't matter what MLE role you have. I promise if it's, uh, your, if it's a traditional role, like uh, a non-deep learning role, it doesn't matter. You're still going to be cleaning data most of the time. And it's all applied statistics, all right? And you'll see when you start taking my course on data cleansing, you'll see that it's all statistics. Right. What what's next? Well, as you're going along, you're going to have to know Python, and you're going to have to know it pretty damn well, all right? Because this is the de facto language in the applied machine learning space right now. Doesn't matter who you work for; it's all going to be Python, all right? So you're going to have to know Python. Well, how how much do I have to know? A lot. You're going to have to know a lot. You're going to have to know up to a junior level Python developer. All right. So you're going to have to know a lot about Python. All right. What else? Uh, number four, most of your problems in the real world are only two. There are two. First off, all right, what's number four? Imbalanced. Classification. Class. Why? Why on earth would you know, need to know anything about imbalanced classification? Well, let me tell you, because in the real world, there are really only two problems. There are classification problems, and there are regression problems. And that is 90% of every model you'll ever build. You'll see. Imbalanced classification. You need to know how to do it, because you're going to need to balance the various classes in your model. All right? What else? Well, I just said data was dirty as hell. Where are we at? We're on number three, four, five. Yep. We're on number five. If data is dirty as hell, then you're probably going to have to know feature engineering. And you are. You're going to have to know what feature engineering is. And you're going to have to be able to do it. All right? So you're going to have to learn feature engineering, which is you do feature engineering with Python. Well, you do almost all this with Python. You do feature engineering with Python. Data cleansing is Python. All applied stats is Python. And balanced classification is completely Python. Modeling, Python. Everything is Python except sourcing your data, which we're not talking about here because you're already in a DA role, right? You can already make it through the 50 questions they're going to ask you on SQL. You already know that, all right? What's next? The libs. I don't mean liberals either. The libs. You're going to have to know XGBoost. It's, it's all we use, in case you don't know. It's used on in all the real shops for about all these problems. Uh, gradient boosters excel at two problems in the real world. Guess what? These are the two they excel at. These two. Almost all models should be XGBoost. All right. What else? How about scikit-learn? You're going to have to know Scikit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you got it. Scikit learn. What else? How about pandas? You're going to have to know pandas. Well, 
how about Matplot? Do I have to know Matplot? Yes, you're going to have to know the basics of Matplot. Right? You're going to have to know the libs. Well, what's number seven? Like, holy hell. Look, there's a reason the salaries are at 300 plus. None of this is easy. All of this is insanely difficult. It's insanely time consuming. That's why there are no entry level roles in machine learning. None of you, entry level, would ever make it past this. I promise. What else? Well, how about how about cloud tech? Almost all models. I think Google did a study. Ninety five percent of all models are being built in the cloud. Cloud tech. You're going to have to know probably the big three. You're going to have to know AWS, some tech. You're going to. I would probably focus on this one. This, these two, Azure. You're going to have to know that's Azure, A-Z-U-R-A, close enough. Um, you're probably going to have to know GCP. These are the big three. One, two, three. These are actually the biggest two, All right? AWS and Azure. He's in distant third, All right? So these are the two big two, big two. So you're going to have to know how to navigate, work with data, and build models on AWS and Azure. And this... We, we haven't talked about learning anything yet about deep learning. You do realize that most machine learning in the real world is not deep learning, right? It, no, it's not. Bad news for you. Now, deep learning gets all the attention, but it's a very small part of the overall machine learning space. All right, so what about deep learning? Well, you're going to have to know Keras. Almost all the shop, every shop I worked in that had deep learning component, they all knew Keras. They all used Keras and they all used TensorFlow. You're going to have to know some TensorFlow. Right. Well, what are the sub-disciplines here? How about NLP? Then you're going to have to learn all the NLP shit. Well, what if you want to work in computer vision over there at Tesla? Well, you're going to have to understand CNNs, right? Convolutional neural networks, right? These are sub-disciplines within the deep learning. This is deep. We'll call this deep learning space. These are niches, niche, niche, niches within the deep learning space. This is what most people use to do the deep learning. All right, so you can see, I think you can see, not you're in trouble. Uh, you can see just how much is involved. And you're like, well, I can't possibly learn that. There's no, yeah, you can, or you won't be making 300K as a machine learning engineer. And it's why, it's why right now there are over 400, 400,000 roles open for machine learning engineers globally. Again, this is a, uh, University of Texas stat, 400 that aren't being filled. Why? Because most people can't get anywhere near this. No one can get even the basics. You know, what's, ask you a question right in Pandas, what's a data frame in Pandas? You know, yeah, right. All right, so we got statistics, your data cleansing. What is, what are outliers? All right, that's kind of a stats question. What are outliers? Uh, should we remove outliers? Yes, you should remove all the outliers. Why should you remove all the outliers? Well, because a model's job is to generalize, and that means outliers skew that. All right, well, how do you, how do, you do that? Well, you're going to have tools that you learned within the data cleansing course that you're going to have to know how to explain to people when they ask you how to remove outliers. How about the quartile method? So you can see this is just, it's not an easy, it's not an easy route. Uh, here's how you get there. You're in a DA role. I'm a data analyst or entry level data role or whatever. I'm a Python developer. Well, if you're a Python developer, you should be working on learning SQL. But let's say you're a data analyst right now and you can make it through, you can blow through. You've worked with SQL now for two or three years and you can blow through any SQL interview, right? You can get through all those questions. What's a primary key? What's a foreign key? Modeling. What's a data type? Um, how would I build models in the cloud with BigQuery. You know all that stuff, right? Because you're doing this. You're doing it every day. This is your next. This is next. This is next. I just gave you the path. Statistics first. Again, free course of mine. You're going to have to know statistics. Right? You're going to have to know a lot of statistics. All right? Data cleansing. Absolutely number two behind stats. You're going to have to know Python because all this shit, except for sourcing your data, is done with Python. All right. Now you know.